There are very few things that can bring communities together, not only in an intellectual but in an emotional way. The arts can do it, athletics can do it, and having that as part of your campus community is a very powerful thing to have. Day one, you know, and we know this in sports, right? Like, it doesn't start when the team arrives for practice. You're building a championship program. It starts from the very, 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 very beginning. It felt good when I came here and it felt good when I was driving away and I think when you get that good gut feeling, it, it means something. A man has built a program that is the envy of so many others. The goal. Tim Corbin is a great example. We hired the right leader. You then give him the resources. You partner so that he knows that you support that vision. And so, you know, that's a template. That's a template that you then want to replicate across the entire portfolio. I'm trying to keep as long-term of a mindset as I can and, and remember that our success in 2025 is not what's most important right now. Our success five years after that is more important. We're gonna to appeal to a player that maybe wants to do things for the first time. If we find those athletes that are seeking a really hard college experience in every single way, I think we can get them to come to Vanderbilt over even the top programs in our sport. The reason I coach is to get athletes to shatter their ceiling. Every player who comes here should expect to be pushed in ways that will get them to shatter their ceiling. When you look at our motto, Dare to Grow, it has a commitment to growth, to realizing your potential, but very importantly, it also points to a critical element of that, which is courage. This is a special place, and you gotta know it when you're walking in the door. And if you know it, and you embrace that, I mean, the sky is the limit here. <laughs>